Ladies and gentlemen, we keep getting all of these different reasons on why the sperm count is low and these folks are not reproducing. Now there's a new reason. This came out in The Independent, November 14th, 2018. Climate change could lead to lower sperm count in men, study shows. Now for a while, you know, it was the plastic and just all these things. But now, today, it is climate change causing low sperm count, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go and find out why it's climate change. Scientists have suggested that increasingly temperatures that are a symptom of climate change could lead to lower sperm counts. Using red flower beetles as a proxy for humans, a new study showed clear evidence of lower sperm numbers and viability as temperatures increase. Study co-author Matt Gage, an ecologist at the University of East Anglia, said beetles were used because they are one of the most common species on the planet. And so these results are very important for understanding how species react to climate change. We know that biodiversity is suffering under climate change, but the specific causes, sensitivities are hard to pin down. We've shown in this work that sperm function is an especially sensitive trait when the environment heats up and in a model system representing a huge amount of global biodiversity, Mr. Gage said, the beetles were subjected to controlled conditions and a five day heat wave, heat wave conditions, nine to 13 degrees above the typical high temperature for five days, damage males, but not female reproduction. According to the study published in the peer review, Nature Communications Journal. So putting heat on insect reproduction. So what they're saying is the hotter the temperature, the less production, uh, productive the sperm was in the male beetle, but the female was fine. It further states successive heat waves almost sterilize male beetles. Wow. So you mean to tell me when it heats up, these guys already walking around with low sperm count will be sterile? Wow, y'all. <laughs> now, isn't that something? According to the University of Rochester Medical Center, in order for males, to create viable sperm, the temperature outside of the testicles have to be cooler than internally. If somehow the male beetle was able to produce in that temperature, their offspring had shorter than average lifespans, according to researchers. Okay, so when they turned up the heat, the sperm count dropped in the male beetle. And the ones that were able to produce, produced an offspring that had a much shorter life expectancy. Interesting. Chris Sales, another researcher on the study said, research has also shown that heat shock can damage male reproduction in warm-blooded animals too. And past work has shown that this leads to infertility in mammals. Our research show that heat waves half 
male productive fitness. Wow. And it was surprising how consistent the effect was. The authors hope the results will allow for more understanding of conservation efforts and effects of climate change on humans. Well, they're already saying the world is heating up fast. Well, I guess the most high knows what he's doing if he's heating it up on these guys out here that already got less sperm than their forefathers. By the time he gets this earth boiling, they gonna be sterile. That's what it's telling us, right? So, so these guys already got struggle sperm. <laughs> we'll have no sperm at all, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if they'll all become sopranos, you know? Maybe, does, will the voice change when the sperm goes? They're going to start sounding more feminine and everything. You never know, right? But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.